请各位议员保持肃。Members, please keep silent. The council now proceeds to vote on the twelve proposed resolutions and twenty-three amending motions one by one. Members, please stay silent. Miss Claudia Mo, please leave the chamber immediately. Members, please return to your seats and stop yelling. This is a final warning. Members, please be seated. Members, Mr. Lang Yuchong. Mr. James To, Mr. Rai Kuang, please return to your seats. If you continue, Mr. Lang Yuchong, Mr. James To, Mr. Rai Kuang, this is a final warning. If you continue to tear these books, I will ask you to leave the chamber. Mr. Lang Yuchong, Mr. James To, Mr. Roy Kuang, please leave the chamber. Members, please return to your seats and stay silent. I now put the question to you that the proposed resolution moved by Mr. Paul Chair be passed. Will those in favour please raise their hands? Mr. Elvin Young requests a division. The bell will be rung for five minutes.
開始表決。Voting begins。Please check your votes。Voting is closed。The results are displayed。From the geographical constituencies, 30 present, 24 for, 5 against, your abstention. From the functional, from the geographical constituency, 25 present, 16 for, 8 against, 1 abstention. I think the question is agreed by majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the proposed resolution passed. Mr. Elvin Young, you may move your proposed resolution. Dr. K. Kwok. I request that the um, future division bells be shortened from five minutes to one. For since the voting will take place one by one, there is no need to shorten the quorum bell from five minutes to one. You will have the chance for the um, subsequent item. Ms. Elvin Young, you may move your proposed resolution. Mr. Elvin Young, President, I move my proposed resolution as set out. In the appendix to the script, I propose the question to you that the proposed resolution moved by Ms. Elvin Young be passed. I now put the question to you as stated. Ms. Elvin Young requests a division. The bell will be rung for five minutes.
開始表決。Voting begins. Please check your votes. If there are no problems, voting closes. Result displayed. Members from the FC 30 present, 6 for 23 against. Those are from GC 25 present, 9 for 16 against. I declare the proposed resolution. I think the question is agreed by majority of each of the two groups of members. Uh, is not agreed by the uh, two groups of members. I declare the proposed resolution negative. Ms. Tanya Chen, you may now move your proposed resolution. President, I move my proposed resolution as set out in the appendix to the script. I, po I propose the question to you that the proposed resolution moved by Ms. Tanya Chen be passed. Ms. Chen claims that the vision of Bell be wrong for five minutes.
开始表决。Voting begins. Please check your votes. If there are no questions, voting closes for result displayed. Members from the FC 30 present, 5 for 23 against, 1 abstention. Those are from GC 25 present, 9 for 16 against. I think the question is not agreed by majority of each of the two groups of members, that is, those returned by FC and those by GC who are present. I declare the proposed resolution negatived. Mr. Wu Chiwai, you may move your proposed resolution. President, I move my proposed resolution as set out in the appendix to the script. I propose a question to you that the proposed resolution moved by Mr. Wu Chiwai be passed. Mr. Elvin Yuan claims the division, but will be wrong for five minutes.
，開始表決。Voting begins. Please check your votes. If there are no questions, voting closes. Result displayed. Members from the FC30 present 6 for 23 against. Those from GC25 present 9 for 16 against. I think the question is not agreed by majority of each of the two groups of members. That is, those returned by FC and those by GC who are present. I declare the proposed resolution negative. Mr. Charles Mott, you may move your proposed resolution. I move my proposed resolution as set out in the appendix to the script. A proposed question to you in that the proposed resolution moved by Mr. Charles Mo be passed. Mr. Ms. Tanya Chang claims the division may be wrong for five minutes.
开始表决。Members, please proceed to vote. Members, please check your votes. If there are no queries, voting shall now stop and the results are displayed. From FC's 30 present, 6 for 23 against. From GC's 25 present, 9 for 16 against. I think the question is not agreed by majority, respectively, of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the proposed resolution negatived. Mr. Kenneth Leung, you may now move your proposed resolution. President, I move my proposed. Resolution as set out in the appendix to the script. I propose the question to you that the proposed resolution moved by Mr. Kenneth Leung be passed. Ms. Kenya Chan moves a claims a division. The division bell will ring for five minutes.
开始表。Please proceed to vote. 
What you build? Voting begins. Please check your votes. Voting is closed. The results are shown. From the FC's thirty percent, six four twenty three against. From the GC's twenty five percent, nine four sixteen against. The question is not agreed by majority, respectively, of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the proposed resolution negatived. Mr. Desquark, you may move your proposed resolution. I move my proposed resolution. I propose I propose a question to you that the proposed resolution moved by Mr. Desquark be passed. Mr. Desquark requests a division. The bell will be rung for five minutes.
開始表決。Voting begins. Please check your votes. The voting's closed. The results are displayed. From the FCs, 30 present, 5 for, 23 against. From the GCs, 25 present, 9 for, 16 against. The question is not agreed by a majority, respectively, of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the proposed resolution negatived. Dr. Kokaki, you may move your proposed resolution. I move my proposed resolution as set out in the appendix to the script. I propose the question to you that the proposed resolution moved by Dr. K. Kwok be passed. Dr. K. Kwok requests a division. The bell will be rung for five minutes.
開始表決。Voting begins. Please check your votes. Voting is closed. The results are displayed. From the FCs, 30 present, 6 for 23 against. From the GCs, 25 present, 9 for 16 against. The question is not agreed by a majority, respectively, of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the proposed resolution negatived. Since Mr. Ray Chen was ordered to leave due to grossly disorderly conduct, we would not deal with his proposed resolution. Mr. Mountain Liao, you may move your proposed resolution. President, I move my proposed resolution as set out in the appendix to the script. I propose a question to you that the proposed resolution moved by Mr. Martin Liao be passed. Ms. Elvin Yang, Ms. Elvin Yang, you may move your amending motion to Mr. Martin Liao's proposed resolution. President, I move the first amending motion as set out in the appendix to the script. I propose a question to you that the amending motion moved by Ms. Elvin Yang to Mr. Martin Liao's proposed resolution be passed. I now put the question to you as Stated, Mr. Evan Young requests a division. The bell will be rung for five minutes.
Kho Chi Biu Kiu. Um, we now proceed to voting. Please check your votes. If there are no queries, voting now stops. Result displayed. Members from FC 30 present, 5 for 23 per, um, against a 1 abstention. From FC 25 present, 9 for 16 against. The question is not agreed by majority of each of the two groups of members. That is, those returned by FC and those returned by GC who are present. I declare the amending motion negatized. Ms. Starry Lee. President, I move that in the event of further divisions being claimed at this meeting in respect of uh, proposed resolutions moved under Article 75 of the uh, Basic Law and uh, proposed uh, and amending motions, this council shall forthwith uh, proceed to the division after the division bell has been rung for one minute. I now propose the question to you, and that is that the motion moved by Ms. Dari Lee be passed. Let me remind members that this question is of a narrow scope. This is just to ask for the division bell to be shortened to one minute. The effect of this is that um, uh, the amending motions and the proposed resolutions will save about one hour. If the debate will will um, if the debate takes up more than one hour, then it will um, defy the objective of this motion. So I ask our members to be succinct. I will uh, proceed to voting of these amending motions and the proposed resolution at 6.30. Ms. Dr. K.K. Kwok, Kwok, first of all, what you have said is unconstitutional because we see that, as stated in the basic law, very clearly, this is uh, a very important motion. It is a motion to uh, restrict the unlimited power, the unfettered power of the administration. We want to propose amending motions to Martin Liu's proposed resolution. His resolution is um, uh, is. Uh, is uh, really bad. Well, we have uh, some puppets here. Well, you you still need robots to. Uh, you still need to give time to robots to press the button. Yes, robots don't need to think. They only follow orders, and they act accordingly. Of course, you don't even need one minute. Thirty seconds will do. The Chairman of the of the House Committee has given a full display that members were given thirty seconds to speak, and that is disgraceful and very tragic. This is a very important decision. We are asked to vote on this very extremely important matter. Every single amendment is meaningful and has significance in the council. So we will not, without careful thought, just go uh, go through the motion. We are concerned that the loyalists, the uh, Swan children, follow only orders. They don't use their brain. They press buttons. By pressing the button, they destroy what is most important to us, something that we can use to limit the uh, unfettered power of the administration, something we can use to monitor the work of the administration and to uh, restrict the administration in squandering our money on um, construction projects. You ask for the division bell to be shortened. The loyalists spoke. I don't know how much substance there, uh, uh, there was in their speeches. Maybe very little, save and except a handful of them, save, say, Mr. Abraham Sheck. But I cannot bring myself to agree with what uh, Paul Zer said, because he has uh, mistaken something pitiful as uh, comical. 
Well, please give yourself some respect. Give it some thoughts. We're talking about over twenty amendments. Martin Liu wants to take away the most important part of our rules. We want we want to stop that. We want to put everything back onto the right track to right wrongs. We are not like the loyalists. We won't arbitrarily and without good reason take away this important part of our rules. This is a very important day for the operation and the future of the LegCo. It is at the same time a tragic day for the LegCo. The administration and the uh, loyalists seize the opportunity when six members have been disqualified to shameless uh, to shamelessly amend the procedure. We need to exercise utmost uh, caution and take it extremely seriously when dealing with this exercise. Every amendment, no matter how minor they are, should be given due respect, whether it whether it was in the committee um, of ROP or whether it is here. This is a very important matter. You want to compress uh, time. You shorten our ta speaking time to 15 minutes. Now, Starry Lee wants to shorten the division bell from five to one minute. I move the motion I to give members a chance to speak their mind about something so Disgraceful. Amongst the loyalists, people like uh, Paul Zhe, the Minyan or Swan son of um, the Western District, of course, they don't have to use their brain. They just do as they're told. But I uh, Detect some signs, uh, psychological signs that that he he might be uh, too agitated. Uh, so I advise him to seek help before he uh, does anything. Perhaps he would have to come to see me. Doctor Kokaki, please come back to the issue. Well, but he dis he interrupted when I said, please ask uh, Porte to stop talking. This is a difficult time. A lot of um, people watch the LegCo. They watch the loyalists take away our basic duties and our roles. You are hugely responsible as well. You are returned with no vote whatsoever. You became the president in um, very uh, undignified and uh, ignoble manner. So we want to fight. Well, I ask uh, the loyalists to maybe use uh, their brain a little bit because I'm concerned that they may uh, press the wrong button. And should that happen, they won't be able to uh, um, answer to their bosses. Well, this is about a shortening division bell. Please come back to the. Please get to the point. I'm doing it. This is, this is, extremely, disgraceful. We have a distorted system. We may not be able to do anything. We might not be able to uphold justice. Even on the issue of the other division bell being shortened. But I ask members who are watching the uh, live broadcast to see this. This is a disgraceful exercise. Loyalists sell Hong Kong out. They want to amend the ROP. I oppose to uh, Ms. Dari Lee's motion. Mr. Lam Chuck Ting. Well, shouldn't it be Mr. Jeremy Tam? Mr. Jeremy Tam. President, I think 
the shortening of the division bell should not be done for a very simple reason. I see that some members have completely lost control. I think Porter was under tremendous pressure and suppression. When he was speaking, he was trembling all over, he was stuttering, and he has gone out of control with what he said. And he was um, saying something so corny that it sends a um, shiver down my spine. He says that uh, we share the same mind and heart. What's wrong with him? I, sh I sh um, shudder at the thought. I'm very concerned about his uh, health, so I don't think the division bell should be shortened. And he said uh, that uh, we're in-laws. I'm Tam, and he is Pak. He's a Pak. We are not in-laws. We're not related. I am not indigenous villager, and he is. However, I have never seen him trying to fight for the interests for indigenous uh, villagers, of course, uh, safe and accept that uh, it will benefit him. I think um, he has, uh, well, he is unhinged. He talked about a subtle relationship. I have a wife and I have children. Does he have an iota of shame? What does he mean? Uh, isn't isn't he out of control, President? Well, you are you asking me if I am out of control? Well, President, you said that you can call me anything I want, even the, an imbecile. But I wouldn't call you an imbecile. Well, shouldn't we worry? And he even talked uh, about his uh, mojo. That he was wearing uh, a pair of slips in Central, said that it was his glorious past and that uh, we are unable to appreciate that. But, well, a normal person would think that if you're wearing a pair of Speedos, then you will be going to swim. Please come back to this point, Mr. Tam. Well, I said that uh, it should not be shortened because members have lost control. They have lost it. Well, perhaps you may think that uh, well, it's because he is uh, trying to uh, score other people. That's why he has lost it. But no, it's everything. And, and at the end, he, he said uh, he was very serious and he talked about an animal. And he said, Phoenix. But is Phoenix an animal? It's a mystical feed creature. I have never heard that the AFCD has discovered a phoenix in the woods. But we have a... a a phoenix hill. Uh, but I think that, um, well, it's a uh, pheasant, perhaps. I think um, or the extent that he has lost it is beyond anyone's imagination. Would you say that uh, a dragon is an animal? And he says, a uh, phoenix is an animal. <laughs> And that's why I cannot support him. If he had to go on this way, I don't know what uh, he's up to. He might suddenly jump up and, of course, uh, even if he uh, stut stutters or uh, uh, trembles, uh, that is uh, expected. What, what, a five feet four, uh, earning less than $10,000 a month? Um, with a secondary school, uh, secondary education qualification, and not qualified to be a legislator, or what? And he said that we're not up to it. Uh, perhaps I, he should redo a primary one. So, how? how so he's he was allowed back then. Um, Jasper, Mr. Jasper Zhang, the then president, approved that. Uh, please return to this debate. That's fine, uh, President. That's why. He could use such a specious argument, and he was uh, bloating about himself. And this is what I call abnormal. When a lawyer, when a legislator is so un, uh, abnormal, how can you trust that he can vote normally in a minute's time? And that's why I don't support this motion. 
All right. He uh, you he he uh, regarded a species argument as if it were real. And then yesterday there was a, a video clip on uh, YouTube on how he w walked around in Central in a brief, and then uh, he got a lot of responses all jeering at him. I have yet to see um, a comment uh, praising uh, his uh, masculinity and uh, calling me a hero. hero. May I remind you once again that you have digressed. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm a bit carried away as well. Since uh, we're all so excited, I think it's much better if we have five minutes before we vote, you said that I've digressed. In fact, I haven't. I just want to uh, take care of uh, some members uh, who have um, some uh, defects or who cannot control himself. I'm just trying to help. So it's better if we have five minutes. All right, you have reached your line after one and a half hours. I don't know how many uh, members here intend to speak, so is it a big deal if I speak for a little bit longer? President, uh, this is no kidding. I really, truly believe that we need five minutes for all members to calm down before pressing a button. So after all, we are only talk about pressing a button, so why don't you wait? Now, uh, please don't uh, smile at me. Um, some members like to look at me and smile. Now, I am serious. I am not joking. I hope, President, when other members are speaking after me, please be more tolerant. Perhaps uh, this five minutes may be the last time we've got a chance to speak on such a motion. Please uh, do allow as many members to speak as possible. Mr. Lem Chakting, President, among the pro-establishment members, uh, Mr. Marty and Leo uh, is uh, one I respect a lot. But uh, having heard part of his uh, speech, I am of the view that he could not, he was not his usual eloquent uh, legislator. So I speak to you, oppose the shortening of the division bell from five to one minute. I hope that Mr. Martin Leo and some members I'm going to refer to can return to a normal, normal way of thinking, exercise their normal judgment, in uh, voting on these items. Mr. Liu refuted me in his speech because I was criticizing Mr. Lam Chakting. This is not a debate. This is not a continuation of our previous debate. Rather, it's about uh, why uh, you um, oppose the shortening of the division bell from five minutes to one. I, I get it. I got it. But I would like to refer to the logic of Mr. Liu's speech. This is not allowed because the debate is closed. Please return to this motion is about shortening the division bell to one minute. Uh, please keep calm, calm down, President. Because Mr. Liu's logic uh, was in uh, was confusing. And I don't think uh, he has enough judgment to decide how to vote within one minute. It's just like uh, when we voted on the electoral package, all the pro-establishment members uh, wandered out. Many of them did not vote on that item, so it was a fluke. So um, whereas uh, for this, it is an important motion and another blunder cannot we cannot afford another blunder. And Mr. Liu said that increasing the threshold for presenting a petition to 35 is uh, to catch up with times. As we all know, they are using this excuse of uh, cutting filibustering to limit our powers. And he said that I got it wrong. In fact, it is crystal clear, Mr. Liu. You want to limit our powers to monitor the executive. Come clean with it. You don't want 20 pandems to come together to present a petition to look into uh, scandals involving the government. Mr. Lam, while I can tolerate um, members 
uh, to speak a little bit more, but you can. I will not allow a continuation of our previous debate. So you can only give me uh, your arguments on whether the division bell should be shortened to one minute. All right, all right. I'll come to my justifications, Mr. Wong. Kwokin appeared to uh, extend an olive branch to us. He said that after this, we should consider how we can mend the rift. I'm sorry, Mr. Wong. I think uh, I'd rather give you five minutes to clear your logic. How can I first uh, chop off all your limbs uh, and then I can mend ribs with you afterwards. Impossible. Once your limbs are amputated, well, even uh, if uh, they are reconnected, you are disabled. You are limiting our power to monitor the executive. And then you say, uh, let's uh, uh, engage in uh, dialogues and then we can cooperate. No, this cannot be. Mr. Wong, please uh, don't uh, be so uh, eager and uh, please. Uh, Think twice. So shortening five minutes to one minute is also uh, not appropriate. And Mr. Jeremy Tan would like to speak first. Of course, I uh, would uh, be graceful enough to uh, allow, to uh, give way. I think Mr. Tam has missed a very important point. Mr. Day is has been very uh, agitated today. If we only allow him one minute, I'm afraid he would uh, row got it wrong. Now, he's not just agitated today. Uh, he called somebody a jackals, and uh, he uh, uh, said uh, someone was an imbecile, and then uh, he talked about being in-laws. Uh, sometimes he uh, Mr. Tam, did he call you a, a hound or a jackal? And then he talked about um, sharing the uh, same, um, being very close with you. This is uh, really interesting. One day he uh, scolded you severely, and the next day he want to be in-laws with you. And then according to media reports and according to your own uh, testimony, Yesterday at anti at the anti chamber, uh, Mr. Tse pressed himself very close to you. So, uh, Mr. Lam, please, uh, I I I understand uh, your worry about uh, shortening the uh, division bell from five to one minute. No, no, no. I I am not. I've not made myself clear enough. I must uh, let the public understand, Mr. Tse. Uh, is very agitated. So at the antechamber, he provoked Mr. Jeremy Tam, and here he uh, flirted with him. So this is a, this a character is very ridiculous. I urge Mr. Tse to calm down and uh, please collect yourself and uh, think. Uh, uh, get it uh, sorted out whether you have a liking for um, Mr. Tam or do you find him uh, repulsive. So I understand that uh, the um, voting is very important to all of us, but uh, some of us are wavering when uh, the wind on this side, uh, they may vote for this item, and if uh, the tide turns against him, he may uh, vote differently. Uh, Mr. Pozzi talked about uh, phoenix, and I also like to refer to animals. What does uh, Aesop fairy tale said? When uh, the birds uh, fought with the um, beasts or the animals, uh, the bats uh, were a middleman. Uh, it was cheered uh, for uh, whichever side is winning. So the role is very clear. We have a similar role here. When need to be, for instance, when Siwa refused to uh, appear at the UGL select committee, uh, please, now this is about uh, why uh, we uh, should make the division by one minute. You don't have to go back to the previous debate. No, no, I have to explain to you why we need more time for Mr. Day to uh, consider carefully what is his position. Because uh, he is some, um, he fickles. He 
may we we may not know how to bend uh, because uh, when Siwai Le refused to go to the UGC Select Committee, he came out. He said uh, perhaps we should consider invoking the LCPMP ordinance to summons him. He should be on the pro-establishment camp. Why he was so aggressive all of a sudden? So sometimes he played the role of uh, the. Uh, Beasts and sometimes he play the plays the role of birds. So as a result, he is uh, like the bats in that uh, fairy tale, and uh, so he can only eat alone. No one will keep him company. You know this role is very unique in this council. I hope that Mr. Pose and other pro-establishment members need not be too earnest or eager. Please think carefully. Your vote will be recorded in our history, in the history of Hong Kong. It would undermine Lachko's ability to monitor the executive. It's not just about affecting people's livelihood or affecting people. It will undermine the rights of Lachko forever. So I hope members would be extra careful not to hurry yourself to vote. And I appeal to Mrs. Ip once again. Well, Mrs. Ip, would you be able to convince Ms. Yunus Yong to come over to our side to oppose this motion so that in the future, if you want to investigate the link read or other uh, matters, at least a select committee could be set up. Otherwise, if the matter is referred back to the House Committee, you definitely lose support when it comes to the voting stage. So perhaps you should convince Ms. Eunice Young again. Mr. Elvin Young. Thank you, Madam Deputy. Madam Deputy, I do have a lot of feelings to air. But I'm not going to respond to the attacks mounted by some members on the Civic Party because it's a waste of time. It's an insult on myself. Now, the rules of procedure. This book is now on sale, $160 at the souvenir shop downstairs. This book has a history of 173 years. It's sold at $160, but does it only worth $160? Madam Deputy, definitely its value exceeds that. Now, for members of the public who have bought this ROP because of the Christmas sale, they might find that it is very unjust because very soon the ROP will be changed. A lot of rules inside will no longer apply. Madam Deputy, and I must admit that about this war on the ROP, the Democrats have lost. And the pro-establishment camp has got what they wanted. But is it really so important that we shorten the division bell time by a few minutes such that even if we want to have a few minutes more to contemplate those amendments, we can't do it? With the um, obvious majority of the pro-establishment camp here, some members were asked to leave the chamber. Some members from our camp have been taken away, and we are in such a powerless position. Even in, in this chamber, when no member has been driven away, we are still in the minority. Now, for the loyalists, they are going to have the victory they want, but is it a war well won or not? And this is my question. Of course, you may not even think twice, because as long as your mission is completed, you don't need to think twice. I'd just like to have a few minutes more for each amendment for everyone to reflect on them on themselves. Of course, you are definitely going to vote against the Democrats' amendments. It will be an autonomous act, but at least there should be room for you to think about this. 
towards the end of this battle, we should think whether all your proposals and all your amendments are really doing justice to this ROP, which has a history of 173 years. And Mr. Lam Chak Ting just now made a valid point. Members would like to um, lobby the support of other members through debates in this chamber. Now, we we still have a glimpse of hope um, on Mrs. Richard Ip and her fellow party member, Ms. Eunice Yong. That is why, with a few minutes more, we could persuade and encourage Mrs. Regina Ip and Ms. Yong to express their views on certain issues, because I think that uh, the New People's Party definitely uh, is something different from other um, parties from the pro-establishment camp. And that is why we want to strive for a few more minutes for members to express views on the matter. Victory is just an arm's length away for them. Uh, and I believe that uh, when it comes to voting, they will be, uh, um, they would just be going through the motions. However, Madam Deputy, I do hope that we can have um, more discussion. We can try to convince each, each other, which is a very important value in this council. Mr. Yang, I, uh, my observation is that uh, you are uh, back paddling, going back to the previous debate. So please focus on this motion of shortening the division bell time. To shorten the division bell time from five minutes to one minute, in fact, it only applies to just a handful of amendments. Now, some members have been evicted from the chamber anyway, so the number of amendments have reduced. Even if the division bell time is shortened to one minute, we're not going to save much more time anyway. I hope members would not um, hastily uh, hurry through the voting uh, procedure. And at least, and, and in fact, when members of the public are watching our debate live, they also need time to think about these amendments, especially those moved by Mr. Martin Liao. They should be given time. In fact, just now members from the pro staff Richmond camp also agreed that some members didn't even read those amendments. They didn't even understand the amendments thoroughly, let alone members of the public watching us live. So I think that we should not shorten the division bell time because uh, it is only for the benefit of not, of not only our members but also members of the public so that when we have a five-minute division bell time, members of the public can read carefully these um, propose, proposals put forward by Dr. Martin Niao. And in the main debate, in fact, uh, Mr. Roy Kwong already mentioned uh, the same point in the previous debate. It is an opportunity hard to come by. And in fact, very rarely do we see such a major amendment exercise to the ROP in Hong Kong. So why, why doing it for the sake of saving just a few minutes more? We should give public time to read it. Now, the Secretariat has prepared this very um, adequate memorandum. And Madam Deputy, one can't just finish reading this paper in just five minutes. So more time should be given for everyone to uh, think and consider this uh, paper. Well, Madam Deputy, I'm not going to use up all the 15 minutes. It would be impossible for me to do so. I could only do my best as the last chance to convince members because this is such an important issue. After this debate, uh, we won't know when the next time, uh, when we will next amend the ROP. I urge members not to hurry themselves to vote. I hope that uh, members will not uh, hurry themselves to vote on in favor of the motion moved by um, Mem Deputy Mr. Dennis Kwok.